Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A-Level Pass Paper A and we're working on question 9 here to do with binomial expansion. Find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion 2 plus px to the power of 9. Right, okay, so as soon as I think binomial expansion, grab the formula booklet and see what we've got here. So we have 2 plus px, so I think the a here is representing the 2. The b here is representing px. If there was a negative in there, I'd say that was minus px, but it's not, it's a positive. And the n here as the power is representing a 9. So what I'm going to just do now is substitute in a, b, and n into the formula above here. And I'm going to stop when I get to the first four terms. OK, so 2 plus px to the power of 9 equals 2 to the power a, so that's a, that's 2, n is 9, so 2 to the 1, plus a 9 choose 1, that's n choose 1 there, and then it's going to be 2 to the power of 8, because 9 take away 1 is 8, and then times that by b, so that would be px. Okay, carrying on, so I then do 9 choose 2, and then I do 2 to the power of 7, and then I do px squared. Be very careful here, you've got your square, your, your brackets around your squared here. If it was just px squared with no brackets, you wouldn't be squaring the p, but you have to square the p, so make sure you square the p. Okay, we carry on this formula here, so we're at r, so here effectively r is 3 for our, third, for our fourth term. Uh, so it's 9 choose 3, bracket 2, uh, 9 minus 3 is 6, and it's px cubed. Okay, so see here on the powers of 2, we're going down, and on the powers of the px, we're going up 0, 1, 2, 3, and on the chooses, we're going up 0, 1, 2, 3. Right then, let's get our calculator out and sort this mess out. So, uh, 2 to the power of 9, that is... Uh, hold on, let me just grab my calculator. 2 to the power of 9, that's 512. And then plus... Now you need the 9 choose 1 button for this one here and times that by 2 to the 8 and you get 2,304 px. The next term here is 9 choose 2 times 2 to the 7. Um, so you get there 4,608 p squared x squared. And then for the last one here you get 5,376 p cubed x cubed. <clears throat> okay, there we are. That's our answer to part A. Part B, uh, part I, is given that the value in front of the x cubed is minus 84, find the value of B. Okay, so x cubed, that's this value here. So 5,376 p cubed equals minus 84, so p cubed is going to be minus 84 divided by 5,376, which will give us on the calculator minus 1 over 64, so therefore p is going to equal minus a quarter. Okay, for part two of this question here, we find the numerical values of the coefficients of x and x squared. So the coefficient of x is just going to be 2,304 times uh, minus a quarter, which is going to give us minus 576. And for the x squared coefficient, we're going to have um, 4,608 times minus a quarter squared. And for that one on the calculator, we get 288. Great. 
Okay, so these are all our answers. We've expanded the binomial, we found out p, and we found two other values. Great, eight marks for that question.